I mean, I know you guys are wondering, like, who is she? What is she talking about? Take it just so deep and live my life. Don't take it personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating. Hi guys, happy Monday. It is Monday, March the 7th. And so I decided to come up here and do a video. This is not your typical video that you're probably used to seeing from me. However, I realized that I had not done a sit down video to formally introduce myself because as you all know, I have a bunch of new followers and um, you guys probably don't know who I am. So to allow you to become better with me, I decided to come up here and do this video so that I can formally introduce yourself to your girl, the empty nest for life wife. Let me go ahead on and get started. For those of you who don't know, my name is Keisha. I know if you're following me on Instagram, you probably see my name there as Kiana. It is not an error. My husband calls me Kiana. He has called me Kiana for the past couple of years. Why, I don't know, but for some reason, he says that that name just, um, it sticks, it resonates for him with me, and he just likes that name. So, he calls me Kiana, so if you're ever in my presence and you hear him talking or you hear him say Kiana and I answer to it, that is because that is who he calls me. So before I get started, let me get my little hair together because I went and got my hair done on Friday. And so today's look, I just wanted to kind of hint to the side. So I got a little um, a hairpin to help me out with the look. And for some reason, she just wanted to, you know, she just wanted to show off. She wanted to let everybody know, like, look, she's getting some assistance over here. It's, it's not given what you think it's given on its own. I'm helping out here, so yes, I have hair in my hair. Thank you. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead on and get started and introduce you guys again. My name is Keisha, and yes, I have notes because if I don't have notes, guys, I'm gonna ramble. I am known to ramble. My husband will tell me. He says it all the time. You talk a lot, but guess what, sir? There was obviously something in the conversation that you liked. Because guess what? I just decided to put a ring on it. But anyway, I have been married. I am married. I'm sorry. I'm married. And I will be celebrating 14 years of marriage come May of this year. Yes, 14 years. However, we have been together for 17 years. So we've been together for a total of 17 years. United in marriage for 14 I have three children. I had these three children, obviously, before we got married. And my husband came into the marriage with three children as well. So he has three daughters, and I have two girls and a boy. So um, <clears throat> added to that addition, we also have two gorgeous granddaughters, Brindley, who is the newest baby, and of course, Lila. And you guys have been seeing her in a lot of my videos. And if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see or you have seen her there as well. And you probably also just, if you saw probably my last, the video before last, we went to Tennessee. I featured Brindley or I introduced Brindley in that video. So if you haven't watched that video, go back and look at that video. And that's where you'll meet Miss Brindley. Uh, let's see, so what do I do? So no, I don't sit home all day. Well, technically I do. So I do sit home all day. And it's not because I am a Atlanta's housewife. So I'm not an Atlanta housewife, of course, because you would recognize me by now. But <laughs> I work from home. So I've currently been working from home uh, since March 13th, 2020. And I am a full-time employee. I work in finance and accounting. I am a senior revenue analyst for a large um, paper and packaging company. 
this company is um, all over. They are headquartered here in Atlanta and we have locations all throughout, whether it be up the East Coast, um, Midwest, we don't have it Midwest as far as the Midwest, but not out West, not you know California West, but we are in the Midwest. And um, I have been with this company for, I'm going on three years, so going on three years. However, I have been in the field of accounting and finance for, I would say the last five, six years. So the last five, six years, I have been in this field. I am not a math person, never have been, never saw myself in this field. However, um, my career path, because I was a business major and I, my um, minor was management and organizational development. So my bachelor's is business management, I mean business administration, management and organizational development. And so I did go to grad school and I originally thought that I wanted to be a social worker. So the goal was for me to enroll in social work, you know, somebody's MSW program and get my degree in uh, social work, my graduate degree in social work. And I thought that I wanted to be a mental health counselor. However, after, you know, careful consideration and also from personal experience and also my sister who is in that field as well um, who is in that field not as well but my sister is currently in that field um, I just realized that it, it's not for me it's, it's definitely not something for me um, I do when I do analysis like you know when say for instance my employer they gave us this analysis to see like what type of field we fit in I fit more in a healthy profession type of field it kind of geared me towards um, like social work um, social justice and things of that nature and I definitely can see that because I am a talker um, I do like to advocate whether it be for myself or another person that is something that I'm very passionate about and I know that um, if it is a topic that I'm passionate about, I will research that topic. I will find facts on that topic. I will find supporting evidence on that topic and I'm ready. Like I'm ready for that conversation. If the conversation can be had is, you know, because I, 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 that's something that I'm interested in. Like I love to research things and, um, you know, find, you know, the information about stuff so that if I had to, you know, provide my findings, I have it. I have it. Like we say, I have the receipts. I like to have receipts. I've always been that person. And it's, a, it's good to be that way as well because my sister and I were talking about it before. I don't take things that people say at face value and it's not that I go into meeting people or into conversations with people prejudging them for what they're telling me or anything like that or doubting what they're saying. It's just I'm a fact-finding person. I, I just want to know for myself. And so one thing you'll say about me is, oh, she, you won't ever hear anybody say, I hope not, at least, she was, I was misled or, um, you know, I was bamboozled in some type of way, form of fashion. I'm going to dig for the truth. That's just me. That's my nature. And if I find that there's no truth in what you're telling me, then, um, yeah, I'm, going, I'm coming for you. So trust and believe that. So moving right along. <laughs> So, um, I also own a, a treat making business. I have been making treats. I like to do event planning and setup. I really love doing that. And I also like to make the treats as well because they both go hand in hand. I really wanted to get started with that, with the treat making side and then the event planning side, mesh the two together and eventually like open up a business where if somebody wanted to contract me to do um, their party and they needed a venue, hey, I have a venue space. Also, if you needed treats, hey, I have treats and things of that nature. I'm not gonna say that that's something that I have completely thrown out the window because I have not. Um, 
my husband, I'm married to somebody that's a fact-finding person as well, and he's like, I need receipts. I need, um, you know, I need data to support that this business is going to be something that is going to make money. Of course, we both know as both being, you know, in our field of work, because he's in management and he works a lot with numbers and P&Ls and things of that nature. We know that there will be profit. There will be a profit, and we also know that there are going to be losses as well. So with that said, you know, he's not one that you can easily sell on a dream. Just like myself, he, he's not one. He wants, he wants to see evidence and proof and things of that nature. So last year, and I didn't work the full year because um, I think the last two months, um, November, December, and it could have been October as well, but I really think November, no, it wasn't October. November, December, I didn't do anything. I was like taking a break, not doing anything. And I had people reach out to me for orders. I just, I didn't want to um, to take any orders those months. And that's the thing that I like about it because even though I work full time and having that business, it offers me the flexibility that if I want to turn down something, I can because I have other, you know, monies coming in. That's not my only uh, stream of income. So that said, um, you know, I, pulled together, pulled in for the last um, uh, 10 months last year. My total was a little over $10,000 is what I made with that business. And so I feel like, you know, and I really didn't even go hard from January to December. I definitely did not go hard, but I pulled in a little over $10,000 and I was really, you know, you know, I'm really impressed at what I did in that length of time being that I was not it was not like every weekend I was busy and I was taking orders it was just my you know merchandise uh, being for my products being priced well and also you know how I you know put my packages together so the cost of my packaging how I package the deals and and people you know wanting to buy them helped me get to that number and that was very important for me to make sure that you know I didn't want to ex overexert myself putting out a lot of work and then not seeing a lot of return so you know, once I get back into it, um, and I will definitely be announcing when I'm going to do that, I will definitely have my strategy strategy together for me exceeding what I made last year and beyond. So what I can say is I have been doing treats for the last five years, making treats, and also a little bit of the people that reach out to me to um, set up their events as well. I each year I see where I am growing the number is constantly going up and I'm really proud of where I've come from you know where I started to where I am now and I'm just looking forward to what's next you know just leaning and trusting God for the next steps in my life and um, so no it's just pretty much right now with that business I am on a hiatus for those that are concerned and just wanted to know hey are you know what's going on with that business and so, a thing about me is I really love to influence. Like, I love photos, I love fashion. Um, I'm not as fashionable, I always say my sister was more fashionable than me. Like, she could go in a store and see something on a rack and I'm looking at it like, oh, it looks okay, it's all right. And then she'll buy it. And then when she gets home, gets, you know, pull herself all together and put it on, I'm like, Wait a minute, that's the outfit that you just bought? Because my eye, I didn't see it. I didn't see it on the rack. But when she pulls it together, I'm like, girl. And even me, like one time we were going to an event and she picked a dress out for me. I think we got it from Macy's in Raleigh because I was living in North Carolina at the time. And I was like, on the rack, I was like, okay, now she's trying to play with me, telling me this dress gonna look cute. And then she tell me to go in the dressing room and try it. So I go in the dressing room, I try to dress on, and I'm like, wait a minute. The dress had me snatched. Like, like I said, mom of three, I haven't had any work done. So I have some of my little baby weight here. Not like some of the people that I see, because I see some young ladies, and I'm like, I'm older than you, and I have three kids, and I, my... 
like my presentation right here looks a lot better than yours and it's all in you know what you put on under there because don't just worry about what's on the outside you also got to take make sure that you're taking care of what's under there because you don't want that to ruin your presentation on the outside so this dress had this ruching in the middle that I couldn't see what was going on when it was on the rack but baby that had me snatched like it looked like I went somewhere and had some work done and the dress was gorgeous and I held on to it um for years like I know I held on to it for like seven or eight years and I probably just got rid of it I know I did I got rid of it probably like two years ago because I'm like why are you still holding on to that dress you're not gonna wear it again and I probably should have kept it because now that I'm thinking I'm like if I would have had that I probably could take it on vacation with me and um, be popping in the dress but I got rid of the dress but anyway I love fashion um, I loved those that influence on fashion so that they can give me a sense of style and idea. Now, I didn't share with you guys my age. I'm 48 years old. I will be 49 in May. Yes. My oldest that I had, that I gave birth to, she will be 32 in May. And my youngest that I gave birth to will be 26. So I think that I look pretty darn good. If I do say so myself to be, you know, a mom of three and to have children as old as they are because even sometimes when I'm with my granddaughter I've had people even in stores say oh your daughter and I'm like daughter uh, I'm Mimi hi nice to meet you I'm Mimi no this is not my daughter this is my baby's baby and my baby is 26 years old and they're like oh my goodness you look great why thank you Nobody but the good Lord and me good. <laughs> but anyway, um, I love the home decor. Um, I definitely love to travel. I'm always on the go, going places. A lot of times, you know, it's me and my husband, and there are times that he does not go, and that's because, you know, he chooses not to go to places. He knows that if he's, if I'm going somewhere and he's not going to be the person that I need to be, for him to be on that trip, like stop, drop, roll, let's go, we ain't here to stay in his hotel room. He'll stay behind and say, no, you go. You and your sister, that sounds like a great trip for y'all. You go, you enjoy yourself. And I love that about him because he does not restrict me from living my life and they're doing lawn maintenance out here. Because guess what, guys? We're about to hit spring and next week is daylight savings time. Set your clocks back. Next Sunday, set your clocks back. So, you know, they're beautifying everything. So, yeah, I love to travel and I love shopping. Um, but every now and again, I will do a shopping haul showing you things that I buy on sale, uh, especially for my granddaughters. Um, I also will show you things that I buy for myself, which reminds me, I do have a haul that will be coming up showing you some of the new spring and summer stuff that I purchased for myself, um, and also things that I'll be purchasing for my upcoming trips. I also, um, what else? I've also started to delve into luxury. Guys, I have always loved luxury, but I'm talking about authentic luxury because back in the day, there were several items that I had that were, I didn't have much Gucci. I don't think I had a Gucci bag. I did have a couple of Louis Vuitton bags. Um, I think I was more into Louis Vuitton, but I always wanted a Gucci. And um, I would have the ones that were not authentic. However, honey, at this point in juncture and at my age and as hard as I work, your girl is gonna buy her some authentic luxury items. I do have a budget and a price point, and we'll discuss that at another time. But I do have a budget and a price point, and I like to try to stick to that, but I have delved into that. I do have a video showcasing some of the luxury pieces that I recently purchased and some that was gifted to me. Um, if you want, if you care to go back, um, either I'll link it or you can go back and you'll see it um, in my video. So, yeah. So I also, um, 
Yeah, so I did cover travel, fashion, and I said something about getting, um, starting to get into authentic luxury. Let's be clear, authentic luxury. Because I just feel like it's, it's the thing. I know that I deserve it. I don't need anybody to tell me that I deserve something. But if it's in my budget, and a lot of times, I don't just take money and be like, oh, I'm going to buy that. I'll save for it. If I know it's something, because I have a wish list. And if I know it's something that I want, I'm gonna budget and I'm gonna save. And when the time comes, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna purchase it. And I'm not neglecting a bill to get it because that's not what I'm, I'm gonna be doing over here. We're, we're not doing that. But I do have a birthday coming up in May and I will be having a haul for you guys on some of the things that I will be picking from off my, or purchasing from off my, um, purchasing from off of my wish list. So, all that to say this, guys. If you are interested in any of the above, any of the above, and you're not currently subscribed to my channel, but first let me give a shout out to my faithful, uh, faithful subbies, my faithful followers on Instagram. If you have been rocking with me, because if you go back to my previous videos, all my videos, I have a lot of videos. I started YouTube probably about five years ago, but you know, I'm just starting to really get serious about it and wanting to take it up to the, the next level. And um, yeah, so if you are, you have been down with me since then, I thank you. I appreciate all your love and support. And if you are one of my new subscribers, I thank you as well for subscribing to my channel. But if you just stumbled across my channel today and you're not a current subscriber, sis, if anything that I just discussed is of interest to you, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my family. I do a lot of things. Like I said, my channel is generally lifestyle. Home decor, shopping, travel, all the things and i love to go out and dine i'm not one to go dine at these chain restaurants but here in atlanta if you have not been to the atlanta area you should definitely come we have a lot of restaurants black owned um and um, not that it just has to be black owned but we have a lot of restaurants that are not just your chain restaurants like your ruby Tuesdays and applebee's i don't know when the last time i've been to any of those restaurants but we have a lot of restaurant offerings. And I just have a list in my phone, in my iPhone, in my notes. I have restaurants that I want to try that I haven't even tried yet. I haven't even tried yet. So, I will definitely, if you're following, if you're subscribing, I will be taking you guys along. So, if you're ever in the area, you can say, hey, I remember Internet School Life Life. Keisha, I remember her, you know, she showed this restaurant and I want to go try it. One I'm going to name right now in particular, the Select. If you are in the Atlanta area, go to the Select, try it out. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And they don't mind you recording in there because it's a whole vibe. And that's how they, they've gotten their fame because people were coming in there and they were doing um, reels on it and they were doing TikToks and all of that. And people were like, what is this restaurant? Where is this restaurant? The ambiance is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. You will be wowed by the, the design. Um, I, I'm not going to give way. You just need to go. You just need to go if you're ever in the area. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I don't want to make it any longer than it already is. And I just want to say um, happy Monday again, guys. Make your this week a great week. It's the start of the week, so you can make it whatever you want it to be. If it started off a little rocky and bumpy today, that's okay. We have tomorrow. You can go to sleep, wake up, and try it again because that's what I do. But anyway, guys, um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for clicking on this video today. And um, yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and say it. You're doing yourself a disservice because Instagram always sees it first. I'm able to post there in real time. With YouTube, of course, I have to record the video. I have to upload the video. Um, I have to edit the video and then upload it. So Instagram, you get it much faster. So go ahead on and 
follow me over there as well. But until the next time, this is Keisha, the MCNS Full Life Wife, signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, jealousy, my